Yo guys, what is up? It is your boy Antoine Jameson, and I'm coming at you with a new video today. This one is actually of the Cleveland Cavaliers NBA uniform history video. Um, this actually took me a very long time to make, so um, yeah, let's just get started. In 1970, the Cleveland Cavaliers became an NBA franchise. They wore their first jersey set from 1970 to 1974. There were only two colors featured on the Cleveland Cavaliers jerseys. Those colors were gold and wine. The home jersey was gold and featured wine accents. The word mark on the front said Cavaliers in cursive and there was a feather treatment of the C underneath the rest of the word. The shorts were wine on the sides and featured the main logo on the left side of the shorts. The away jerseys were an exact inverse of the home jersey. It was wine, had gold accents, and had gold down the sides with the main logo on the left side of the shorts as well. Since the pictures back then were kind of low quality, this right here is the most accurate representation of the home and away jerseys of the time. In 1974, the Cavaliers changed their jersey set. This new jersey set was used from 1974 until 1980. The home jersey was gold, had wine accents, and featured gold, wine, and white stripes on the side of the jersey. These continued all the way until the bottom of the shorts. The away jersey was wine, had gold accents, and featured gold, wine, and white stripes on the side of the jersey as well, and these also continued all the way until the bottom of the shorts. This picture right here is an accurate representation of the home and away jerseys of this time. In 1980, the Cavaliers changed their jerseys to a very forgotten jersey set. They used this set from 1980 until 1983. The home jersey changed from a bright gold to a more metallic gold. The stripes on the side were moved to only two stripes below a strong Cleveland wordmark on the front. The main logo was placed on the front left shorts. For the away jersey, these stayed the wine color and was an inverse of the home jersey with the same wordmark and logo on the front. Also, with both the home and away, the last name was removed from the back of the jersey. Because pictures are hard to come by for this jersey set, this is an accurate representation of the home and away jerseys of this time. In 1983, the Cavaliers switched their entire identity. They changed their main colors from wine and gold to royal blue and burnt orange. They changed their main logo to a word mark of Cavs with the V designed like a basket. This jersey set was used from 1983 until 1987. The home jersey was white, featured this new Cavs logo on the front, and had blue accents around orange on the logos and the numbers. The away jersey was orange, and featured white logos and numbers with blue accents. This is an accurate representation of the jerseys at the time. In 1987, the Cavaliers switched from orange as the main color to royal blue. The home jersey switched from orange to blue on the logos and numbers, and now had orange as accents. They used the home jerseys from 1987 until 1994. The away jerseys were blue, featured the same logo on the front, and the logos and numbers were now orange with white accents. They had this as the away jersey for only three seasons, 1987 until 1989. From 1989 until 1994, the Cavaliers sported an away jersey of the same template, but instead of them saying Cavs, they said Cleveland. This was to better represent the city when on the road. This is an accurate representation of the three jerseys used during this time. In 1994, the Cavaliers changed their identity again. This time, they got rid of the V Basket logo and adopted for a new logo with a basketball getting shot into a hoop with Cavs below it. With this identity change, they brought a, a new uniform set with it as well. The home jersey was white, had calves in orange with a black line running through it, black numbers with a white line running through it, and also adopted a light blue splash across the torso and on the shorts. The shorts also featured the new logo on the right pant leg as well. The away jersey was very similar. The font said Cleveland in orange with a black line running through it. The numbers were white with a black line as well, and still featured the light blue splash across the torso and shorts. The shorts featured the logo as well. They used these jerseys from 1993 until 1997. This is an accurate representation of the jerseys at the time. In 1997, 
The Cavs decided they needed to change the lettering and the shorts. The home jersey still featured the blue stripe in the torso, but the Cavs wordmark was changed to be black with orange running through them, and the numbers were the same style as well. The shorts changed a lot, moving the splash to only the bottom of the left leg, and now featured a Cleveland wordmark in orange. The logo remained on the other leg. The away jersey was changed to have Cleveland in white with an orange line going through it, kept the splash on the torso and also changed the shorts. The splash moved to the left leg and now featured a Cavs wordmark and also had the logo on the right leg. They used this jersey set from 1997 until 1999. This is an accurate representation of this jersey set. In 1999, the Cavs changed their set to what is now known as the pre-LeBron jerseys. The home jerseys were a similar template, but removed the light blue splash. The numbers and letters adopted a light blue font with a black line running through them, and also added a pinstripe to one side on the front and back of the jerseys that ran to the bottom and around the shorts. The logo was on the side of the right leg. The away jersey was similar, they removed the splash as well, now featured Cleveland in white with a blue line going through them, as well as the same pinstripe going around the jersey. The logo was also on the right side of the shorts, and for some reason, on only the away jersey, a Cavs wordmark was added to the back of the shorts. They used this jersey set from 1999 until 2003. This marked the first time in the history of the Cavaliers that they did not wear a crew neck style jersey. This is an accurate representation of the jerseys at the time. In 2003, Coinciding with the arrival of LeBron to the franchise, the team returned to the wine and gold of the early years of the team. The logo was changed and now featured a dark blue along with other colors. The home jersey was white, had cavaliers across the front in a slanted movement in red accented by gold, and featured dark blue numbers accented by gold. The C logo was added to the back above the last name. The jersey had a wine siding that ran to the bottom of the shorts, and both sides featured the Sword C Cavaliers logo. The away jersey was wine, featured Cleveland on the front in a white accented by a gold word mark, had white numbers accented by gold, and featured the C above the last name on the back. The siding was gold and ran to the bottom of the shorts as well. Both sides of the shorts featured the same Cavs logo as well. This is an accurate representation of both jerseys used from 2003 until 2010. In 2004, the Cavaliers used throwbacks to their second jersey set. The only difference between this and the older jerseys were the longer shorts. They wore these six times in the 04-05 season. This is an accurate representation of this jersey. In 2005, the Cavaliers adopted an alternate jersey to go along with their white home, and wine aways. This was dark blue, featured a gold, wine, and dark blue trim around the neck and arms, and down the siding. The sides were red and featured the logo on the bottom of the shorts too. This is an accurate representation of this jersey used from 2005 all the way until 2010. In 2006, the Cavaliers called back to the orange jersey set of years past. This jersey specifically commemorated the 86-87 season. The only differences from the jersey were the long shorts. They, again, only wore these six times this season. This is an accurate representation of the jersey. Also, the Cavaliers went to the NBA Finals in 2007, so that means that the home and alternates actually once featured an NBA Finals patch, but not the away jersey. In 2008, the Cavaliers called back again to their first jerseys with the birth of their franchise. These were the home gold uniforms of their inaugural season, except for having longer shorts. These, like before, were only worn six times during the season. This is an accurate representation of the uniforms. Also, in 2008, the Cavaliers started a new trend that would only last four seasons. This was a call to the Cavaliers official forums, CavFanatic.com. These were designed by the community and worn for only one game every season. This season, they wore them against the Charlotte Bobcats in 2009. These were the templates of the same throwback jersey for that season, but were blue and had gold and wine accents. This is an accurate representation of this jersey. 
In 2009, one uniform change and two jerseys were announced. The change was that all uniforms used during this season would feature an XL patch commemorating 40 seasons for the Cavaliers. The first jersey introduced was the Hardwood Classic uniform, calling back to the away jerseys from 1987 to 89. These were the same exact as those jerseys, but obviously had longer shorts. These were only worn six times throughout the season. This is an accurate representation of these jerseys. Also, during the season, one other jersey was revealed, the next Cav Fanatic jersey. This was a callback to the same jerseys used as throwback this season, but were actually wine and gold instead of orange and blue. They only wore these one time this season, a game against the Washington Wizards in 2010. This is an accurate representation of these jerseys. Also, during this season, it doesn't really count as a jersey, but they did play on Christmas, and this was the first season that they actually used the snowflake patch in place of the NBA logo. The Cavaliers played the Los Angeles Lakers. In 2010, the Cavaliers changed their identity. The logo changed a small amount, mainly just brightening up the gold and changing small little quirks about the logo. The large change came with the jerseys. The home jersey was white, featured Cavaliers on the front in an arc, removed the siding, and had wine, font, and numbers. The jerseys were now back to a crew neck style. The away jersey was wine, featured Cleveland on the front, and had gold letters and numbers. These were very classic looking compared to the previous uniforms. These jerseys have been in use since 2012 until the time I am making this video. This is an accurate representation of these jerseys. Now, the funny thing about these is that they changed their uniforms at the same time as LeBron left for Miami. And many figured that the change was to eliminate LeBron's legacy and changing the Cavaliers' identity away from LeBron. Now, that actually isn't true. The Cavs had to plan for a rebrand in the offseason before, in 2009. That means that even if LeBron stayed a Cavalier, the jersey still would have changed. That's just an interesting note. Also, in 2010, the Cavs featured another Cav Fanatic jersey, one that I didn't even think existed. The base was the 2005 to 2010 alternate jersey, with many things changed about it. The jersey was black, featured baby blue, orange, and white as accent colors, and had baby blue siding. This was only worn once in a game against the Toronto Raptors. This is an accurate representation of this jersey. In 2011, the Cavs introduced a jersey that would actually become a staple. This was another Cav Fanatic jersey, and this was just a dark blue jersey with Cavs in the front in the same template as the current jerseys. The numbers and letters were wine and had accents of gold all around the jerseys. They wore this only one game this season, a game against the New York Knicks. This is an accurate representation of this jersey. In 2012, the Cavs introduced a gold alternate jersey that had Cavs on the front in red. The necks and arms were the same as the home jerseys. These have been used from 2012 until the time I am making this video. This is an accurate representation of this jersey. In 2014, with the return of LeBron, brought another slew of alternate jerseys. The first jersey change to all of the jerseys was actually introduced by the league. All jerseys now had the NBA logo on the back above the player name. This means that the home, away, and yellow alternate, the C logo on the back was eliminated. The first jersey in this season to be introduced was the new dark blue alternate jersey. This was very similar to the Cav Fanatic jersey of 2012, which is why I said that when they introduced that jersey, it became a staple. There were small differences, such as the neck and arm line being five stripes instead of just the two stripe. This is an accurate representation of this alternate jersey. Also, in 2014, the Cavs played on Christmas. The jersey had the main logo on the front with the player's first name on the back below the number on a tag, much like a Christmas present. This is an accurate representation of the jersey. In 2015, the Cavs went to the NBA Finals. That means that the home white, the yellow alternate, and the dark blue alternate all have a finals patch, 
But the red aways were not used during this season. In 2015, a couple more jerseys were featured. The first was a new sleeve jersey, introduced as an alternate called the Pride jersey. This jersey featured the C logo on the front with the number in the top right. This was actually the first sleeve jersey used in Cavaliers history. These have been in use from 2015 until 2017. This is an accurate representation of this jersey. Also, in 2015, another alternate jersey was introduced, the stretch jersey. This was very similar to the Cab Fanatic of 2009-2010, but with small differences, such as the neck and the arm line now having five stripes instead of three. They have used these from 2015 until the time I am making this video. This is an accurate representation of this jersey. In 2015, the Cavs had a hardwood classic jersey announced. This was a callback to the 1974 uniforms, just with longer shorts and the NBA logo on the back. This is an accurate representation of this jersey. Also, the Cavs played on Christmas in 2015. The jersey was wine and cream and featured Cavaliers in cursive on the front. These were used against the Warriors. This is an accurate representation of this jersey. In 2016, the Cavs went to the finals again. This time, they wore the home whites, the alternate blues, and the pride sleeve jerseys. In 2016, the Cavs introduced another hardwood classic for the season. This jersey was the same as the 1983 orange threads. They were the exact same other than the shorts being longer. This is an accurate representation of this jersey. Also, in 2016, the Cavs played on Christmas again. These were wine again, but instead of being accented with cream, they were accented with gold. They wore these against the Golden State Warriors. This is an accurate representation of this jersey. Also, again, in 2017, the Cavs went to the NBA Finals. They wore the white Holmes, the blue alts, and the pride sleeve jerseys again. This means that the irregular away wine jerseys, if the Cavaliers do change their uniforms, were never featured in the NBA Finals by the Cleveland Cavaliers. Honestly, that may be the only time a team didn't wear their regular away jersey in the Finals, and they did it three years in a row, plus back in 2007. In 2017, the Cavs have announced a logo change to more of a shield logo. And at the time of making this video, only leaks have been shown of the Cavaliers' new jerseys. If a jersey has been announced, there will be a link up top in the card, plus a link in the description that'll go over the new changes. So anyway, yeah, that was, uh, that was the NBA uniform history video for the Cleveland Cavaliers. Um, I repeated, this is an accurate representation of this jersey a lot, but I did want to um, up the quality a little bit on these videos because I really like making them. Um, let me know down in the comments what your favorite jersey is. Mine is definitely the um, 99 to 2003 jerseys, mainly because of the players who were playing for them at the time. Uh, Darius Miles, Ricky Davis, Dewan Wagner, Andre Miller. Um, I just think all of those, like if you had like one of those four, that's like really dope. Um, but anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys later. Bye.